Welcome to this short tutorial on how to transfer a code library created in Magnet Office uh, to Magnet Field. The sample that I'm going to show you uses Magnet version 2.7.1. So here we are in Magnet Office and first I'd like to show you how we can um, enter the code library. So uh, under the drop down headings we've got library and global codes. So here we can see a list of global codes and if we just uh, take a sample, uh, let's say uh, code BLD for building, uh, we see that the abbreviation is given uh, as BLD and I've put it on a layer building. Um, you also note that it's actually a line and not a point feature because we want to uh, string these uh, observations in magnet field. I've chosen uh, a point color as red and the marker as a cross. There's no symbol, but if there was a symbol, I would choose a symbol from this list, the drop down list here. There's also the option here to pre configure the code so that when the survey comes in from Magnet Field, the annotations, uh, number code and height, or even the notation on the point will show. For the line options below this, I have this, chosen the same color. And again, I can choose a different line style if I want, as opposed to a solid line. Below that is an, uh, an option to change the thickness of the line. If we uh, have attributes uh, for, a, for a certain code, we can uh, turn them on like this. And uh, the option is to prompt for, at each point on the uh, string or, or point feature. Then we can basically add our attributes. So, for example, if this was a, um, a building, we might want to know the type of building. So we could uh, choose here a, um, a new menu feature uh, called type. And then uh, choose the value as menu. Uh, what this would do then is uh, would allow us then to actually uh, pre-configure a menu uh, such that, and we can add uh, values here. So for example, uh, we might want to add uh, a building type as a house or a garage or a material type such as brick or concrete. As you can see, it's totally um, at the behest of the user as to how he customizes the, this menu type. So we, we will then apl apply that. Okay, once uh, you've gone down uh, through the list of codes or created your own code library, I would just like to show you another code that we created, tree, um, where we have uh, actually opted for the options here, the attribute options of height, spread and type uh, to give you some idea of uh, what will be seen on the logger. We can create uh, more uh, code entries uh, like this. Once we're happy with this, um, the code library will be saved on, on exit within uh, Magnet Office. But what we want to do is we want to transfer this code library to the device running Magnet Field such that when the codes are used in the field. They have the same code name as the code library feature in Magnet Office, which means that when the code comes in to the Office software from the field, it picks up all these attributes and displays on the screen. So we want to export this code library to Magnet Field. If we just hit the uh, the export option on the right hand side here, you get the dialog box prompting you to actually uh, export all of the code, which is what we want to do. So we'll hit all. And we'll now save them, making a note of where we're going to save them. Uh, I'm going to save them actually on a uh, removable USB here. And I'm going to save it as uh, sample codes. And what we need to do now is actually uh, send this file, which will be saved as an XML file. Um, we want to save this over onto our mag uh, copy this onto our magnet field device. So I'm going to save it here first. Okay, now I'm going to um, close this uh, dialog. 
and um, move over to my magnet field device. So uh, on this uh, PC simulator I have here is the uh, home screen from magnet field. And uh, I simply copy the XML file created in magnet office across to the field device. And then what I can do then is um, go back uh, from the home screen to configure and codes. And in this screen, I see uh, the prompt for quick codes, but I want to go to the settings menu. And I want to browse in this area here for my sample codes. So I'll hit browse and then navigate to my USB key and hit sample codes and hit that. Now, what happens uh, when the codes are put in this area is that every new job created will feed from this area. So in other words, uh, every new job I create in Magnet Field will use the sample code library. So I can demonstrate that by going to uh, Survey and Topo. It's prompting me for the back site, but I think we can close that. And if I then show you what's in the um, code list, you'll find it is the same code uh, list as defined in Magnet Office. So thereby we can complete the survey in Magnet Field. And when we uh, import uh, the MJF, the Magnet uh, Field file, into Magnet Office, the codes will match the codes in the code library and thereby all the att attributes that were um, identified in the code library uh, will pull up on the screen of Magnet Office. So that concludes this short tutorial on creating codes in Magnet Office, transferring them to Magnet Field and setting them as the default code library.